all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to be learning two more types of input which is a radio button and a checkbox now radio buttons are used when we want the user to select one out of a few choices so let's say in our user registration form we need the user to enter their gender now it can either be male or female so they have to select one of them so we are going to be using the input tag once again but this time we are going to be using a type called radio and this is for the radio buttons now it will take a name let's say gender and it also takes a value so this is once again used when processing the input so the value is going to be let's say male and then once again we give a label next to it which specifies it as male and then we can have another input now this time the input is going to be for female but here's the thing for radio buttons the name is going to remain the same across all the buttons so if you have two buttons the gender is going to be the name for both the buttons and let's say if you have if you're accepting for five buttons the name has to remain the same across all five buttons the value can however differ and this is going to be female and we can have a label called female and when we save it and reload our forms.html we have two radio buttons one for male and one for female now the user can either select male or they can select female but they cannot select both now if you want one of the radio buttons to be selected when the page is loaded then we can go ahead and use checked within the input tag so when we save it if you notice we have the mail as checked so reload it and mail is going to be selected now the second type is the checkbox so let's say we need what we need we need the courses that the user wants to enroll to let's say courses now the user can either select none of the course or all of the courses or anything in between so we can have an input once again and this is going to be type is equal to checkbox and the name is going to be let's say course and the value is going to be hmm, let's say HTML we can have a label for HTML we can have a break tag here sorry about that so we can have another input and this time the type is once again going to be type is equal to checkbox name is still going to remain course and then value is going to be equal to let's say CSS whoops <laughs> alright CSS and we can have a label CSS and when we save it reload it we have courses now HTML and CSS now a checkbox allows you to select any number of inputs so I can select both HTML and CSS I can select just CSS I can select just HTML or I don't have to select any of them at all and once again if you want the checkbox to be ticked when the page is loaded just include checked and it is going to be selected so when we save it and reload it there you go both of them are selected so there's the two more types of inputs and in the next video we are going to be learning how to have a drop down menu as an input and also how to have a text area as an input where you know you can provide a comment or some sort of feedback so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video